Welcome to an evening with me. That sounds like, I was thinking about that earlier today. I was like, that sounds like the worst like radio promotion ever. Win an evening with Brad Stewart. We'll take the 10th caller. We're, we'll, t- we'll take any caller. And like one person calls, I like to win a date with Tad Hamilton. That's a, that's a fictional character. We're thinking about an evening with Brad. Say hello. Hello. I was single for a long time because I was broke. Because you can't ask anybody out when you're broke. It's just, hey, would you like to come over for a candlelight dinner? Because my electricity got shut off last week. <laughs> no? Okay. Good day, ma'am. You know. Well, like one time I tried to ask this cute bank teller out at my bank. <laughs> a lot of holes in that plan. I don't really think that through. But she was like, oh, she was nice enough. She's like, oh, you want my phone number? Okay. Let's check the balance first, shall we? <laughs> Oh, whoa. Um, here's your balance. It looks like I have a girlfriend. But <laughs> girlfriend? I'm so broke that you're gay now. That's. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say next. <laughs> but I've been having memory problems. I tried taking that herb, Ginkgo biloba. Has anybody heard of that? It's an herb that they say it's supposed to be good for your memory, but I don't think it works. I was at the grocery store the other day, and I saw a bottle of it, and I was like, hey, Ginkgo biloba, this is supposed to be good for your memory. I didn't check this out. Then I got home and I opened my medicine cabinet and there was a half-used bottle of Ginkgo Biloba. <laughs> the bus drivers are the, like, there's so many passive-aggressive bus drivers too, but yes, you, wait, you see people waiting for the bus stop in LA. People, all, apparently everybody thinks this makes the bus come faster. <laughs> I saw a girl like just standing there, like she thought it was gonna, like, cars were zooming around her. I'm like, you're gonna die. Before it gets here. And then, then why? Then why'd you waste your time? <laughs> but they'll do this every time. Every freaking time, there's a bus stop. There's a pole with the n- number of the bus on it. Everyone's standing there waiting. There's like, a, the bus starts pulling up. There's this false sense of panic. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, like, there's like, like five feet tall Spanish women, like, elbowing me. I'm going to let you on. God. <laughs> But uh, this happens every time. Everyone's waiting in the exact same spot where the pole is. There's the bus driver. <laughs> like, like five to ten feet away from where we're. So everybody has to go, oh, oh. <laughs> Have you guys heard of that stuff, ginkgo biloba? <laughs> it's an herb. It's supposed to be good for your memory. But I don't think it works. I was at the grocery store the other day, and I saw a bottle of it. And I was like, hey, ginkgo biloba, this is supposed to be good for your memory. I should check this out. Then I got home, I opened my medicine cabinet, and there was a bottle and a half of ginkgo biloba. <laughs> yeah, but my mom, my mom is, uh, she, they still the love of music in me. Like, she always played music around the house. I'm a huge music lover. And uh, she would have this annoying habit, though. She would get a song stuck in her head, but only one part of that song, and sing that part, like, relentlessly. Like, she loved designing women. Remember that sitcom? She loved that, and the theme song was Georgia on my mind. And every time she watched the show for the next like two or three days, she'd be walking around the house going, Georgia, 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 Georgia. Mom, learn the rest of the song. Or please get Georgia off of your mind. <laughs>